Hello everyone, welcome back to the Shinobi Broken channel. Today we're going to be playing another game of Marvel Champion. We're going to be playing a game of Flash Thompson Venom, built as protection, versus Expert Mysterio. So, this should be interesting. I haven't actually played Expert Material Ex Mysterio excuse me, before, so this should be an interesting matchup. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get into the deck composition right now. Now, all right, so for Venom, we have three stacks. We have his 15 signature hero cards, which are going to be just, you know, his signature cards, which by the way, uh, I don't know if I told you in the video right after I did Venom versus Venom, I might have, but everything kind of gets cloudy uh, or foggy after doing so many videos. I did find the second Savage Attack so we can play him to his full capabilities. We have all 15 cards in here. But then we also have our protection cards, which are sort of going to be our beefier cards that will help us defend a lot more, obviously, because it's protection. But we're sort of really building up for our basic cards because we're sort of banking on having Symbiote Suit as early as possible. We might literally do a, a complete just wash mulligan by just completely dumping our whole hand, except for to get the Symbiote Suit, unless we have resources. If we have resources, we'll keep them. But we're trying our absolute hardest to bank on getting this card as early as possible because it's just such a great improvement. And if we get it too late, it won't be super beneficial. So for our protection cards, we have one ally. We have Luke Cage, um, who's just a big, beefy, hardy dude. He's got toughness. Uh, we have two desperate defenses to get us extra uh, readies and two extra added defense uh, stats for that time we defend. Uh, two bait and switch to remove... Uh, extra threat just to give us some extra versatility um one shake it off uh in order to give us health um three what doesn't kill me to heal and ready us uh two expert defenses to give us extra uh defense two momentum shifts to heal and deal extra damage and uh, two indomitables to ready us and then two power of protections um so that's it for our protection cards for our basic cards we have some suit of course just extra versatility to get us big hardy uh attacks thwarts or defenses extra hit points and an extra hand size this is hoping not to be a big deal but we'll see gamora just to be some an extra body extra attack and uh we can just get extra events which we have a good bit of events for protection but we also have a lot of events for our base or hero cards so that'll be interesting stun with mockingbird just to get some extra heal with crew quarters and then our three resources so that's it for our hero setup. Let's go ahead and set up Mysterio. So we have our obligation we're gonna go ahead and set in. For our uh, modular set, we have, um, we already have just the basic, um, what's it called? That's already sort of a teaser, personal nightmare that has to be in there. But for our uh, other uh, modular, we're using Doomsday Chair because Ant-Man just came out and I recommend everyone go see it. It's okay. Uh, my personal rating for the movie is a solid 7 out of 10. It's not the greatest, um, but they did the best with what they could. I will say Modoc is one of the funniest parts of the movies, or one of the movie at least, in my opinion. Uh, with that being said, we are good and shuffled up, so we should be able to just get our setup ready. Um, for Mysterio, put a shifting... Oh, we have to... Get ourselves set up before we do the villain. I always forget that. So we're going to go ahead and get shuffled up and be right back for the video. All right, we're all good and shuffled up. I also forgot to mention that we are put a Nick Fury ally in there. I didn't have him in the intro of the video with all the setup, but that was 24 cards, and I took it out for the last game I played uh, because I couldn't find any of the others. They're in my huge box of cards, and I didn't feel like getting them out, so... Uh, yeah, with that being said, we are good and set up, so let's go ahead and get uh, set up for uh, Mysterio. Put a Shifting Apparition minion engaged with you. Alright, so we're going to put that Shifting Apparition. He has Guard when defeated. If this minion is defeated with excess damage, the defeating player shuffles the top card of the encounter deck into their deck. Interesting, interesting. So then we flip this over, starts out with two. When you would draw or discard an encounter card from your deck, deal it to yourself as a face down encounter card. Draw a card. Okay. 
And then Mysterio, if he uses a boost card, a win reveal, the player order shuffle the top two cards of the encounter deck into your deck. Mysterio's whole thing is his creeping factor, forced response. After you resolve a boost card during Mysterio's activation, place that card on the bottom of your deck uh, as an illusion. Uh, if it has the illusion trait. Oh, bottom of your deck. Oh, okay. I've always been shuffling in. That's how I played it with the campaign. I thought it was shuffle it. Okay. That makes more sense. Okay. Uh, we should have actually drawn our hand first. Two, four, six, before we do the villain. It's okay, though. Um, we're keeping the energy. Uh, all of these we don't need. So we're pitching them all. So we join to a strength. Genius. Oh, my. Simulate suit. Uh, that's five cards and six. Great. This is actually a great hand to start out with. So. Now we're going to go ahead and get into the game. So we're going to discard cards from our when a card would be discarded from the encounter deck, deal it to your, or from your deck. We're going to discard until we get a weapon. Ah, uh, we don't need to do that one. Ah, uh, it'll be beneficial. No, it's too late. Nick Fury, we do it as a encounter card. Desperate defense, expert defense. What doesn't kill me? Venom's pistol. Yeah, we shouldn't have done that. We're gonna flip up though. Take one damage. In order to play out our Venom's Pistol, we're going to use our two two of our three resources to play our Symbiote Suit. We're going to use up to 21 health. <laughs> then we're going to use Energy to deal five damage to um, an enemy. We pay for it with a Energy Resource, so it gains Overkill. So when defeated, shuffle it in. Shuffles the top card of the encounter deck into our deck. Okay. But it deals four damage of overflow, so. Or overkill, I should say. Okay. So then, we, he has seven hit, 17 hit points, but actually 13 because we just did that four damage. <laughs> then we're going to go ahead and attack for four because of our Venom's Pistol and our Symbiote Suit. Bringing him down to nine. Solid first turn. So we're gonna ready up, draw to our hand size, spider sense, multi-gun, shake it off, grasping tendrils, and a savage attack. So the scheme goes up by one, up to three of eight. He's gonna attack us for two. We're going to, we're gonna take it. Nah, you wanna conserve our health. No, it's okay. We can take it for two, just two. So we're down in 19 hit points. Then we get our encounter cards. One for the symbiote suit and one for the turn. Surge. Um, there is no minion. Attach your identity. You cannot resolve uh, abilities from your hero's printed text box. Alter ego action. Discard one identity specific card or random from your hand. Discard this card. Dang it. Is not good. It's really bad, actually. And then our last encounter card, shifting operations. Good, 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 good. Not good at all. So we're going to use our spider sense and hmm, what do we want to do with this? We want to go ahead and attack for four. Oh, we should have drawn up another card because we have an extra hand size. <laughs> Two grasping tendrils. We use um, a grasping tendrils, savage attack, and um, we use both grasping tendrils. All three of those to play out our multi gun, which we'll use to deal one damage to each enemy, bring him down to a rounded up down eight. We're gonna go ahead and thwart, or that would that would exhaust that. We're gonna exhaust our venom's pistol also, along with us to deal 
thwart for three, because it's one, two, three. Yeah, three off of this, bring it down to three. And then we're going to keep spider sense and shake it off. All right, so we're gonna ready up. Draw to our hand size of six. Luke Cage, Mockingbird, Run and Gun, and a Gamora. That's actually a really good hand. Uh, never mind, no, it's not. No, I think about it. So scheme goes up by two, up to five because of Fool's Parade. Absolutely hate that. He's going to attack us for two. We're gonna take it to the face. Two, three, give Mysterio one additional boost card for this activation. Three, four, five. So this gets put on the bottom of our deck. It's five damage out of 14. And then we get our three encounter cards. Doomsday Chair. Put Modok into play. So Doomsday Chair has eight on it. We're gonna put a five and three ones. Five, one, one, two others. <laughs> All right, so then our other two encounter cards, shifting operations, of course, always. And lastly, deja vu. Choose to either take one damage or put one through on the main scheme. We're gonna take that one damage to the face and we shuffle this back into the encounter deck. Okay, we have, we're in a very tough spot with this. Um, we could thwart the three off of Fool's Parade. We're gonna go ahead and multi-gun, dealing one damage to each enemy, getting rid of Shifting Apparition, dealing one onto Modoc, and one to Mysterio. Bring Mysterio down to seven. Um, we're gonna attack for four on the Mysterio. And a three. Then we're gonna use Gamora, Luke Cage, and Spider Sense to play Run and Gun, which readies all of us and all of our guns. So then we're gonna go ahead and Remove two threats. <laughs> mm. We could kill Mysterio or we could. We're going to deal two damage to an enemy with multi gun, being Modoc. <laughs> um, no, we could actually do it to Mysterio. And then you can use multi gun next turn to kill him. And then we're going to use our Venom's Pistol, Symbiote Suit, and Us to remove the last three threat from Fool's Paradise. Oh, we would have had two extra hand size, so we're just gonna draw those two cards right now because of Fool's Paradise. We would use, um, remove three threat from the scheme. If you pay for this using a mental resource, we wouldn't. We can do it though. Or could play out Mockingbird. Nah, we're good. We'll, we'll pitch bait and switch, keep this. So we're gonna draw up to hand size of six. So what doesn't kill me, locked and loaded, and an egg, a desperate defense. So we're gonna ready up. Ready all of these. You can slide that up there. We can move our deck over there. And then it's his turn, so scheme will go up by two up to seven. Then he's going to attack us for two. We're going to block this one. So he's gonna attack us for two, five. So we take, because of Venom's pistol, symbiote suit, and this, we would take one. And then Modok's gonna attack us for two, we'll take it to the face. Then we get our encounter card. It's Times two, shifting operation. It's always a shifting operation. And 
lastly, Fearmonger, which surges into this card. But discard your card and drop to your hand size. We're actually gonna, so we didn't use Venom Pistol and just take one more of that damage. Discard your hand and drop to your hand size. Yikes. I should have used, I always forget to use protection events. Draw to our hand size. So it's one, two, this gets dealt as an encounter card. Three, four, five, six. So then this surges into another one. So we discard all this. And we draw up into one, two, three, four. We're gonna get another encounter card. Five, six. Oh my gosh. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, and then this one. So that's nine total encounter cards this turn. Yikes. Well, not my So eight. We get our obligation. We get this attachment attach to mysterio when you would deal any amount of damage to mysterio it's got the top four cards of your deck same thing times two doomsday tear and an evil doppelganger <sighs> this one from doing okay to doing awful Okay, we have a lot to deal with. So Fear Mango, we already did. Now we have our obligation. Eight encounter cards. That gotta be some kind of record. Put one set of ca copy of an engaged Timbio into play with you. We're gonna do that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and use our multi-gun to deal two damage. I'm so glad I used this, kept this. So this gets discarded so then one damage is done to each of these guys so one onto modok one onto the evil doppelganger and one on why does the doppelganger have that weird those dots above the a i don't know all right i already know i missed an encounter card most likely i probably had one extra but who knows we're going to use momentum shift with this power of protection healing two and dealing to onto the um oh one damage would be done dealt on mysterio so that gets rid of this one just got the top five cards of the player's deck so he has 16 health points if we last that long geez um we're gonna use Who do we deal damage to? We have four total damage. We could get rid of the doppelganger. Yeah, let's do that. Is there anything else we want to play first? We'll use these two to play for the spider sense. Um, which we'll put out as an upgrade. And then we're gonna use our locked and loaded to search for a weapon. The Venom's pistol, right there. Add it to our hand. So then we shuffle our deck. There. Deck shuffled. All right, so then I'm gonna attack for four. On to, we have to do it on the symbiote because of guard. So then that's our turn. So we ready up. Scheme out. Scheme, schemes out. So then shuffle the top two cards of the encounter deck into our player deck. We also have to discard the top five cards of each player deck, which I forgot to do. So we'll do that right now. 
One, two, three, four, five. It's not bad. We also haven't drawn up the hand size yet, so. Venom's pistol, expert defense, genius, savage attack, indomitable, and Luke Cage. Six because of symbiote two. So he's gonna attack us. We would draw a card. The Gamora. He's gonna attack us for two. We're gonna defend with two, three actually, because of symbiote two. So he's attacking us for two. Reveal this card. Uh, we're gonna take one damage. This would be a reveal. Starting out with three, I believe. Yep. We're gonna take one damage. Shuffle that in the encounter deck. The four cards that consist of the encounter deck. And um, then we get attacked by these two, equal to the number of identity specific. Uh, cards and the players in one, two. So she's got three, five. So ugh, we take five damage. Yikes. It's not good at all. Okay. Our turn. We're going to exhaust multi gun. Dealing. Ooh. Yeah, we may as well have just done Venom's Pistol, which would have done one less damage because we defended anyway. So it's up to six. We're going to use uh, Genius to play X Savage Attack. Or do we want to play... Do we want to play Luke Cage out? No, I don't think so. Savage Attack it is. Dealing five onto... We didn't do Multi-Gun yet. So we're going to deal five to Modok and do multi gun to deal one damage to each player. So the five that kills Modok, or to each character, not to each player, I mean. And he would take any amount of damage. Uh, discard the top four cards of your deck instead. So we do that twice, so it's top eight cards of our deck. Those don't go in our discard pile, they go in his. So our top eight cards are one, but what doesn't kill me? Two, the Mockingbird. Three, behind enemy lines. Four, Savage Attack. Five, Nick Fury. Six, what doesn't kill me? Seven, Running Gun. And eight, eight, Crew Quarters. Those are all really solid cards. Okay. Um. Jeez, what do we do? So Scheme, is it's up to nine. There's going to be three. No. Depending on what this is. We're gonna say max it can be is three. Because, well, we can actually calculate out. So it's three right there. Our hand is this. So it's three. Um, it's three and identity specific cards. The other ones are four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten cards it couldn't be. So max it could be that we draw up to would be like five. So she would have a scheme of one out of five. We're gonna say three. Three's the even. Or like the mean. There you go, math class, or the median, I mean. So that's three, three scheme, four, five. That's already eight, nine, ten. Ooh, yikes. It was scheme out by one. <laughs> or we lose to death. Uh, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna try it. Right, Venom's Pistol, we're gonna go ahead and play, um, hmm. We're gonna keep expert defense for defense, obviously. We're gonna use Gamora to play Venom's Pistol for next turn. And then Luke Cage to play Indomitable. So that's the end of our turn. You ready up. We're gonna flip to Alter Ego first. And pray we do not lose. Okay. Uh, so draw the hand size. Four. 
by six. Skin goes up by one, two, three. So it's up to six. So then, how many identity specific cards do we have? Two. So she has a three of scheme. Yeah, we lose. So he's scheming for two, three, four. That already loses us. And then evil doppelganger schemes for three. So yeah, we lose the game. All right. That was not a good game. We got overwhelmed towards the beginning. We thought we were doing pretty well, but we got overwhelmed. Uh, some I made some mistake on my part. That being said, that was actually really fun. I enjoyed that game. Um, but we just got to improve this deck to see how good it will do in other games. So with that being said, this will be the end of the video. Shinobi Brogan signing out. Peace.